Hi, this is Dr. Rudresh. Welcome to my channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. In this session, I will be explaining the hypersensitivity in a nutshell. We know the disorders resulting from aberrant, excessive or uncontrolled immune responses are called as hypersensitivity reactions. Peter Gell and Robert Coombs classified the hypersensitivity reactions into four types based on the mechanism of pathogenesis. Type 1 is IgE mediated, type 2 is cytolytic and cytotoxic, type 3 is immune complex mediated, type 4 is delayed type of hypersensitivity. The type 5, 6 and 7 which are actually the newer ones are considered to be the part of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. This is a heavily loaded slide. This table I have made because there was a question in the DNB microbiology examination to explain the characteristics of hypersensitivity in a tabular form. So I have um, made this table with different characteristics of hypersensitivity like whether it is a immediate or delayed type of hypersensitivity, whether it involves humoral or cell made immunity, whether the antigen is soluble or it is cell bound, what are the effector mechanisms and what are the mediators involved and also I have given few examples. The type 1 is Ig mediated hypersensitivity. This is an immediate type of hypersensitivity involved in the humoral arm of the immunity. The antigen is soluble which cross links the two IgE antibodies on the mast cell and basophils leading to degranulation and release of histamine and other vasoactive amines. Examples are systemic anaphylaxis. Localized ones are the hay fever, asthma, hives, atopy, food allergy and eczema. Type 2 is IgG or IgM mediated. Here the this is this is there is a cytolysis or cytotoxicity and the duration is variable from hours to days immune response involved here is the humoral type the antigen is cell bound once it is bound with the antibody there is an activation of the complement or the antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity will occur leading to the injury so here the mediators involved are IgG, IgM and also the complement. The examples for type 2 hypersensitivity is mismatch blood transfusion reactions, RH incompatibility and hemolytic anemia. Type 3 is immune complex mediated. Here, also, here the duration can be from hours to days and it involves the humoral arm of the immunity. The Antigen here is soluble, which when combined with the antibody lead to the activation of the complement and the, the, the host cells will get injured because of the activation of the complement and there will be an inflammatory response. So here the IgG, IgM and complement, they act as mediators along with the leukocytes. Examples are Localized ones are Arthur's reaction, generalized ones are the serum sickness, acute glomerulonephritis, necrotizing vasculitis, rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematosus. Type 4 which is also known as delayed hypersensitivity. This usually takes days, say for example more than 72 hours. The immune response involved will be cell mediated. The antigen can be soluble are bone. Here the phagocytes or the cell cytotoxicity will occur and the, the TH1 cells, macrophages, cytotoxic T cells and sometimes even TH2 cells are involved in this particular type of hypersensitivity. Examples are contact dermatitis, tubercular lesion and graft rejection. Type 5 hypersensitivity is known as is a stimulating or inhibiting type of hypersensitivity which involves the humoral arm of the immunity. Here the antigen will be cell bound and antibodies will be produced against the cell bound antigen which will be in the form of a receptor. 
So when an antibody comes and binds to the receptor, it can either stimulate or it can inhibit the response associated with this with that receptor. So example is long acting steroid stimulators, which is a stimulating type of hypersensitivity, and myasthenia gravis, where it is an inhibitory type of type 5 hypersensitivity. Type 6 hypersensitivity, this is actually antigen dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. Here, the immune response involved is humoral type of immunity, and the antigen will be cell bound. The cell bound antigen, when it is coated with the immunoglobulins, the, the FC receptors which are present on the natural killer cells and macrophages recognizes the, the antibody which are bound to the the cells and thereby they bring the the destruction of the target cells type 7 hypersensitivity is a, a recently in <coughs> introduced one here the release of cell antigens is the mechanism in which this hypersensitivity occur here the this involves the humoral immune system and the antigen is soluble the effector mechanism involved is the release of the self antigen from the bound auto antibody in the serum. Here the self antigen is nothing but the insulin. So example which is given is Hirata's disease which is also known as the insulin autoimmune syndrome. So in this condition what happens is the immunoreactive insulin will combine with its auto antibodies in the serum and in in the combined form the insulin will not be active but when the person is subjected to fasting then the insulin is released from the auto antibodies and thereby the increased level of insulin will lead to hypoglycemia so th this is uh, a release of self antigen a type of hypersensitivity is also known as type 7 hypersensitivity an example given was insulin autoimmune syndrome so i hope uh, you have understood the the uh, table and you will be able to reproduce so if anybody want this table uh, kindly uh, put their email id in the comment box below so that i can send them the soft copy of the table so thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and like this video and uh, don't forget to press the bell button so that you will be notified for my future videos. Thank you.